Right now at 6, body camera video of a controversial CMPD arrest will soon be in the hands of the public. A Mecklenburg County judge just signed off on releasing all police video related to that incident. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Colin Mayfield. It's great to have you here. You may remember cell phone video captured from this incident shows a woman on the ground restrained by four CMPD officers, while a fifth one hit her several times in the leg. Some say the officers went too far and used excessive force, while the agency says the woman was resisting arrest and even punched an officer. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is joining us live from outside the courthouse right now. So Jesse, do we know the timeline for the release of these videos? Well, Vanessa Collin, that will happen in about two weeks. Now, while most people have seen that cell phone video taken by bystanders that have gone viral in just a few weeks, they will get to see about 28 CMPD videos taken from that arrest. It's video Christina Pierre's attorney say will give folks a clearer picture of what happened. So the hearing for the release of the custodial law enforcement footage went as we expected. Thursday during a court hearing, a judge ordering the release of all video related to this November 13 arrest. CMPD says officers tried to arrest Christina Pierre and a man for smoking marijuana, but things got heated. Police say Pierre punched an officer and resisted arrest. One officer is then seen on camera punching her several times on the leg. Police calling those compliance blows. What we think it will show is that this was profiling. Once the videos are released, the public will be able to judge for themselves. Pierre's attorney, Lauren Newton, did try to block the release of the parts of the video following Pierre's custody, but CMPD argued against that. We believe that recordings during transport and the setting in the interview room do lend themselves to the full story and context of what was going on that time to show people's states of mind and the full context of that incident. The court sided with CMPD. Personal information like addresses will be redacted, as well as parts where Pierre is exposed during the search. The court's going to find that there is a um, uh, compelling public interest uh, based on the information um, uh, received during this hearing. Charlotte Chapter NAACP President Corinne Mack says she hopes this incident leads to deeper conversations about policing. We have to be honest about policing in this country, policing in this county, and what it looks like and who it harms. We have to be honest about it and really be intentional about creating some change. So what's next? Well, police and attorneys will work on those redactions and then city council for Charlotte will view the videos in a closed session. And on December 12th, the video will be made available to the public. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Jesse, we will wait for that video to be released.